How to create and edit a file via SSH Make sure your cPanel account has Secure Shell Access enabled. Only then you will be able to create and edit file via SSH. Log in to your cPanel. Type terminal in the search box and click this icon to open the terminal. Go to the path where you want to create the file. To list the files, type LL. The files showing here are under my public underscore HTML folder. Let us now see how to create a new file. There are two text editors that can be used to create or edit the file. One is Nano and another one is Win. We will first see how to create a file using Nano. Type Nano space the name of the file you want to create followed by its file format. You will see a new file gets opened with the name that you gave. Now type in all the code or text that you want in this file and save it. To save the file, press Ctrl and X on your keyboard. Now it will ask you if you want to save the changes that you recently made. Press Y for yes and press enter key. This will take you back to the command line access of your cPanel. Now let us confirm if the file has been created in the desired folder. Here is the file I had created. To view the content of this file, type cat space your file name. Let us now see how to create or edit file using Vim. Once you are in the location where you want to create the file, type Vim space the name of the file you want to create followed by its file format. The Vim editor looks like this. On the keyboard, click the letter I to enter insert mode in Vim. You will now see insert on the bottom left. Now. Type in all the code or text you want in this file. Once you are done with editing the file, click the escape key. You will be taken out of insert mode. An insert will get disappeared from the bottom left of your terminal. Save the file by typing in a colon followed by wq and hit enter. This will take you back to the command line access in your cPanel. Now let us confirm if the file has been created in the desired folder. Here is the file I had created. Let us now view the contents of this file. That's it. You have learned to create and edit a file in SSH. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Give a thumbs up if you found it useful. Reach out to us on this email ID for any of your technical queries. If you want us to make video on specific topic, do let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos.